Hi, I'm Gopita Catherine Manning. I gotta speak up because I realize the sound is very low in some of these. Um, I'm gonna do part three of the grief meditations and this is about forgiveness, self-forgiveness. So I'm gonna invite you to take a comfortable seat and just take some deep cleansing breaths. So just in through the nose and out through the lips. So it's really nice to do these breaths because um, it helps us realize that wherever we are, we're being supported by the breath, the breath. Okay. And deeply, deeply allow the body to relax. Just bring your attention to any place that may be tight and mentally relax it. Just relax the shoulders and the jaw and every place in your body where you may hold tension. And take some time with this. We won't take time today, but take some time. Give yourself space. And when you are relaxed, bring an image of yourself into your mind. See yourself, your face, and say your own name and say, I forgive you. I forgive you. I forgive you for everything you think you've done or maybe will do or may have done. For all the lies, the dishonesty, the betrayal, the success, the failure, everything you think you've done, I forgive you. Look at yourself in your mind's eye and forgive yourself. Say everything that you think needs forgiveness. Don't get too elaborate. A couple of phrases more will do. But think about how many times you've berated yourself, how guilty you feel, and forgive yourself. Byron Katie says that forgiveness means what we think happened didn't. But I, I can't say it any other way but this. Forgiveness means nothing ever happened. I know that's not exactly easily understood. But when we understand and let our hearts open and melt to the possibility of our own perfection and sweetness, of tenderness, of mercy, of compassion, nothing has ever happened. And, and the feeling is so beautiful. It is so beautiful. It is so profound, this melting. Let it in. Just let it in. I forgive you. I forgive you. <laughs> Thank you for listening.